Hey, it's Zeno, Warthog Princess. This video is going to take a look at the capacity of the Ranger. This was requested by Sunshine Bags, and we did just take a look at the Ranger. I will include that comparison and review right here for your reference in case you missed that. Um, but here you go. What I did for this one is I thought we would just take a look at the items I currently have in my purse and see how they fit in here. Um, what I'm using right now is the Cantor. So I did do a What's in My Bag on this. No need to put the link above because we're gonna see it in a moment. So here it goes. Um, first thing is my phone, which is already on the table. So my phone right here, and I'll put that in the phone pocket. That's an easy one. Next we have external, we have a hand sanitizer. So that will be direct crossover. Just look it on the loop there. Now, on the back, there is a pocket here, so what do I have in that pocket? I have some masks, a whole bunch of them, because I sweat a lot. So I go through multiple masks in a day, and I have honestly not even been using the filters, but I have them there. Um, so yeah, like today I went to breakfast, and then I went to Home Depot, and then I went to Lowe's. That was three masks, because I sweat that much that you could like wring them out at the end. It's, no, they don't work well that way, and they're not comfortable either. Um, okay, so let's see where we want to put that in here. Um, I think I'm going to just try straight across. So we'll put masks and masks, pocket to pocket. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight masks. That's a lot, but yeah. And the filters, because that was in there too. This does have pen slots, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Okay, now let's look at the canter. We got the front pocket here, and this one has, I have a couple card slots. In there we have a flashlight and a tool. Got some receipts. Those can just stay in there because I'm not really moving out. And there's a couple papers. Papers fit anywhere. I have some sunglasses in the pocket. And then inside the main compartment here, let's see what we have. It's pretty simply packed. I have an envelope. I have a cosmetic, I have a splits XL, there's my pen and pencil, well we know those fit so we don't even have to put that in there, but we will, just to see. And then we have another envelope, we have the key bungee, and all the keys. And then this one has a clear window which has a coin purse in it, we'll pull it out for comparison but there's nothing in it, I actually thought I was going to use it and didn't. And so that is everything except those receipts. So the receipts that all this paper. Okay, now let's put everything in here. This front pocket does have a built-in wallet, so we'll use that the same way we did on the other one. And that is for the flashlight. Let's see. Hmm. It doesn't fit laterally, so it'll have to kind of stand up in the slot. The card tool thing, put that in the slot. That fits just fine. I wonder if that's second. Yeah, they're just not tall. Okay, so those fit in there. And that gives us the rest of this pocket. Which, let's see here. Hmm, there's not really a good place to put the glasses. So, since these are soft things, I'll put my glasses back here with the mask. So that's okay. Okay. Inside here, front compartment, I would normally like to put my wallet there. Let's see, will the wallet fit? It does, actually. It fits right in there, laying down. And there's still room on top, but we'll just leave it at that. In fact, I'm gonna stack it this way with the wristlet strap up. So we're gonna call that good. And then, hmm. These go in the back pocket. It's almost like a what's in my bag video. Not quite, but almost. Okay. So in here, we have all these pockets. We don't really need them. I'll put this in one of the pouches up front. Because it was in the bag. Keys in the other. Hmm. Wait a minute. Yeah, no key clip in here. So, hmm, 
These are going to go in the back cargo pocket. Ooh, that eats up a lot of the... So we have this cosmetic. It's sort of a catch-all. It has hand sanitizer and miscellaneous stuff in here. Band-Aids, toothpick, dental floss, stuff. Ooh, yeah. This one just doesn't fit the same. So this is out. I'm going to put this cosmetic right on the bottom. It lays perfectly in there. The mints in the envelope can stay in the envelope and go in that back cargo pocket. Yeah, it's a little bit of squeezing. <laughs> the big envelope won't fit, but the things in it will. So let's see what we got here. We've got a manicure kit, a notebook, and some earphones. So, notebook is front cargo, manicure kit, front cargo. Yeah, that fits. Ooh. Yeah, we're pushing it. Um, this can go in here. We'll put it in the clear pocket, the top, because the top is actually not that hefty. Ooh, but that doesn't fit. It's too fat. Would manicure set fit? Yes. So manicure kit in the clear. These can go down here. So here's what I've done. Put the manicure kit in the top, put the notebook here, and the headphones in the two cargo pockets. We still have that in the middle. So, if we, if we do it just like that, keys can just get thrown in, the coin purse can just get, we'll put the coin purse in the, car, the privacy pocket. There. <laughs> it's a little full. Okay. But capacity-wise, you actually could fit more because this top part, but laterally, we're pretty tight. It's not blow the zipper tight, but yeah, it's a little tight. So how would I thin this down to make it reasonable? One, I would take out some masks. Um, two, I would, yeah, I would just change things up a little bit. So instead of using the envelope for the small stuff, I might put that in the clear window and just change things around. But it does fit and it does kind of show the capacity. Hopefully, this is what you're looking for, sunshine bags. Um, some other alternatives, like if you didn't pack this this way, like we take all this out for a second and clear the pockets inside. One more pocket. Because that's some great internal organization, so you don't need these pouches. You could thin things slightly by breaking it down more. Um, but just for a quick, broad look, let's take the wallet out too. The wallet, of course, can go in the main compartment instead. But let's say we had things kind of packed in here. Here's the 12 ounce Chuggy. It does fit inside. So if you didn't have it packed like I did today, and if you were carrying a lighter load, you could easily take water with you inside the bag. There is no external compartment for it. Um, but you could, you could take water with you, most certainly. Oops, I almost forgot my glasses. Did I get everything out of here? Vera Bradley water bottle is a little taller, and I don't think, ooh, actually, it, it also fits in there. So if you wanted more like 16, 17 ounces instead, you can either take the big chuggy or your Vera bottle does fit inside there. The factory style bottles won't, they are taller and they definitely won't fit inside. So. There's your look at the capacity of the Ranger. It is not quite as big as a canter, but there's no surprise there. And um, I wouldn't want it to be. I actually bought this because it gives me a spectrum of sizes options. Okay, Kelly. Shh, shh, shh. Nobody's coming. Come on. Where you at? You gonna come on this side? Okay, up. Yeah, okay. There you go. Some leaf blew by or something outside. What you doing? Yeah, she's not liking 50 million videos back to back. She wants more attention. So anyway, hope you're doing well. I'm going to pack this all back up off, off screen. So take care and Sunshine Bags, let me know if that answers your questions. Bye for now.